I'd like to start by asking you all a question. Who of you consider yourselves explorers? Raise your hand. I do too. In 2011, before starting university, I decided to take a gap year. Not everyone liked my decision. I had two sides. One side, my parents and my close friends, who supported my idea. But then I had almost everyone around me and most of my school teachers who told me, why would you ever want to take a gap year? Just go straight to university. If you take a gap year, you're not going to end up studying. They wanted me to follow a common path. But I wanted to do something different. So I decided to trust myself and explore, travel, and create my own network. I then realized that when you do something that people are not used to, when you want to do something different, almost everyone is going to try to take you down. They're going to tell you it's not worth it, don't do it. But you have to motivate yourself and find, follow this passion, find this motivation. Don't expect others to motivate you. You're the one who has to motivate itself. So, but first, let me tell you how everything started. In 2010, I took part in a robotics competition with seven girls from my school here in Barcelona. We had never done anything about robotics. We had no idea how robots work, but we were all very excited about it, and we worked really hard. This hard work and this passion, as well as the help from our mentors, which is always very important, brought us to the final in Atlanta. It was the final round of the championship. Can you imagine? Without knowing anything about robotics, we got to Atlanta. There, we competed against 1,500 people from 85 countries, and we won one of the awards. We couldn't believe it. But what did I learn from this experience? One thing I learned was it's very important to go outside of your comfort zone. Try new things, like robotics, for example. Then, second thing I learned was to learn to like to have a nut in your stomach. To have this feeling when you're doing something different, something new, something for the first time. You need to all like this feeling. It's a good feeling. This feeling and this experience was what brought me to decide to take a gap year. I wanted more nuts in my stomach, and my gap year was certainly going to give me a lot of them. So, tonight I want to share with you some of the learnings I got in my gap year. But you're probably thinking, what did she do in her gap year? I didn't spend a year just traveling around, enjoying, visiting new cities, having fun. No. I decided to do internships in different countries and in different companies. Now I'm going to tell you more about the learnings I got from each city and each company. First, I was in Hamburg. In Hamburg, I did an internship in a global publisher in the international licensing department. It was the first internship I had ever done. And I, I learned how big and German companies work, how they organize themselves. But not only that, it was the first internship, so it was the first experience of this kind. And I learned to adapt myself, to like to learn to these changes. Can you imagine? I was almost homeless for a night. At the beginning, I didn't have a house to live, so almost one night I had nowhere to stay. But I learned from these new adventures, and I actually enjoyed them. Then I left to San Francisco. In San Francisco, I first did uh, an innovation and creativity program, imagine, and then I did an internship at an app developer company. There, I learned two main values. One, which is passion, and then to be open-minded. To see the people work there was really inspiring. They had fun when they worked, they work in what they like. And not only that, they shared the, their ideas with everyone. And they, they were never afraid to fail. 
they kept going and they saw mistakes as part of their learning. And that's what brought them to risk and always try new things. After my experience in San Francisco, I left for Brussels. In Brussels, I learned to convert problems into opportunities. Because in Brussels, I did an internship at the European Parliament for four months. But before that, this wasn't my initial plan. I was supposed to go to a consumer electronics multinational, also in Brussels. But can you imagine that just two days before, literally two days before I was supposed to go to, do the, to start my internship, they called me and they told me, look, Armina, we have a problem. We're doing a reorganization in our company. We have to cancel your internship. What was I supposed to do for the rest of my gap year? You can't find another internship in two days. And so I learned that problems in life are inevitable, but it's your choice how to deal with them. And so I adapt to this new change. And in the same way my internship had been canceled last minute, I found another internship also last minute. And I ended up in the European Parliament, which I had never thought about. I wasn't a fan of politics, but I really enjoyed my work there. It was one of the greatest experiences. And I could see from the inside how the European institutions work, which was, as I told you, a great experience. But what do I want to tell you tonight? This gap year, I didn't only acquire great and fundamental life skills, I also had an important view of my context. And it was certainly one of the greatest years of my life. And tonight I have two main messages for you. One which is for the companies, and another which is for the students. First, companies. Do you realize of the great value these young students can bring to your company? Then students, as I told you, this is the best year of my life. At least consider taking a gap year, as I did, and most important, never stop exploring.